Oh, hi everybody, Feltus45, yeah? And today I'm going to show you how to use schematics with World Edit, which is made by Skate9Q. He's an amazing developer. Go and visit him on the Bucket forums. Anyway, what are schematics and why should you care? Uh, let me run you through a scenario. If you've ever created a structure, like maybe one of these around here, um, I downloaded this map off Planet Minecraft, but let's say I made that nice. I worked really, really hard on it, and Minecraft comes out with a newer version, and they will be soon. They'll be introducing new ores, so that means new map generation. Uh, so everywhere on this map, it doesn't have emeralds and things like that that, that will be in the new update. Uh, I mean, only the new land that's generated will have them. There's no way easily to incorporate it into the ground or the resources that are around us. So an easier thing to do is take that entire structure and move it to a new map. And World Edit allows us to do this very, very easily. Uh, all we gotta do is we make a selection and if you want to know how to install this um, this grid you see here, it's just what my selection is, it makes it very easily. <laughs> It is technically raining right now. Um, I have a video on how to do that as well. It's, it comes in very handy, especially when you're doing these big structures like that. Um, but you make your selection, you save it to a file, then you go to your server, and you just have this file that you can drag into another server and use. I had to do it recently with the uh, Kerplunk Gaming logo for the Reddit tourney, MC tourney or whatever. We were sponsoring that, and they requested... A uh, big banner from us, so I had to make that for them and uh, give them the schematic. So what I'm going to show you how to do is create your very own schematic and how to move it. So this will be a two-part video in one. I'll be on my desktop for the rest of it uh, once I show you how to do that. So without further delay, let's, let's just get started. Um, so the schematic command is schematic. You can do the full schematic or skim. Uh, it saves you some keystrokes because you're going to be typing quite a bit. Um, so as you can see there are three arguments we can type in. We can do save, load, list, and formats. Uh, formats is currently not used at the point of me creating this video. Uh, that's just the type of uh, file you're creating and the only one that exists right now is MC Edit. So don't worry about formats. Um, I wonder if it shows it. Oh, we also have MCE, pardon, and I guess that's a, a subheading or something. Uh, all right, so we can also do list, which I'm gonna show you now. And I have, actually have a couple schematics. Let me get you there, should be easier to see. Um, it lists the file name and the format. And I have a house, I have uh, a K, I have house two, I have KG. And it looks a little cluttered there, but if you know what you have, should be fairly easy, easy to do. So I'm going to save a new schematic to there. And uh, before attempting to, you know what, let's, hey, we, we got to find something to copy. Um, hmm. Let's just copy this entire house. How about that? And just set that mark. I'm going to go down here, and this is going to be a very, very um, sloppy copy, <laughs> but uh, don't worry about it. So the first thing we need to do is get something to our clipboard, and I'm doing that here, and yeah, this is going to be a gross copy, but this is just for an example. Um, keep in mind, wherever you copy it from, it's going to paste relative to you. So if I'm all the way up here, uh, and I try to paste that somewhere, it's always going to paste down there. So I like to get a good idea of where I'm like standing. So I'm just going to do, um, you must do copy that brings it to the clipboard. If we had something else in the clipboard and we made the selection but we didn't do the copy and then we tried to save it to a file, it would save whatever's on our clip bar, clipboard first. So if I had that tree on the clipboard and I didn't do copy and I tried to save it, it would save the tree and then I'd be really disappointed because I'd have to do more steps. So we have the house on the clipboard, and now I need to save it to 
So we're going to do for, double forward slash S C A G M, and it's always double forward slash when you're doing schematics. And we want to do save. That's our function. And next, you want to do what format you're saving it in. So just do M C E D I T. Um, I believe you can also do M C E. Really, doesn't it matter? And then we do space, and then you want to name it. So house three. So if I do, oops, house three is there. Um, so there, you know how to save it to uh, a file that we can easily take off the server, which I'll show you later in the video. Um, now I'm going to show you how to call upon those uh, schematics and use them. So uh, I had a little fun with some TNT over here with our banner, and uh, it, I, yeah, I kind of destroyed it. Um, so I got to get a new one. Oh, there's there's one that works, but I want more. So I'm going to do skim. Remember double double forward slash load, and then. God, what's the name of it? Oh, and this is important. Case sensitive. As you can see, I'll try and point this out in the video. Um, KG is the one I want to load, but it's capital K, capital G. Uh, so that's very, very, very important. And I believe that's all we need to do then. And there we go. It's loaded to our clipboard. So no longer do we have the house in the clipboard. Now we have the, and I'm just clearing my selection with. Uh, double forward slash SEL that just grit gets rid of the box um, so now if I do paste just get somewhere to stand it's not gonna paste a house it's gonna paste my big old banner and there it is and I don't think I need to teach you anything else with this um, I do have to remind you though it is case sensitive so uh, like KG they're both capitalized. You have to do KG. Um, it doesn't exist if you don't capitalize one or the other. Uh, so follow it very closely. And in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to get these schematics off your server so you can email them to someone or upload them to the internet for other people to use or whatever you want to do with them. Okay, so here we are back on my uh, desktop. And uh, my server is actually hosted 24-7 by the uh, company, and uh, I need to get those. But if I was hosting this on my own computer, it's going to be the same process. You just don't have to use FileZilla, uh, or you might be using a different admin panel. The point is, what we want to go to is the plugins folder on our bucket server. So if you are self-hosting and you have your server on your desktop in a folder just open it up and go into plugins and you can follow me from there um, I need to open up FileZilla and hmm I forgot which one let's go for it and I was right okay so um, in this box right now these are typical server files. You're going to see world, you're going to see any other worlds you've generated. You're going to see craftbucket.jar, hopefully you do, because if you don't, you don't have a bucket server and you can't do this. Um, you're going to see things like OPs and server properties, and yeah, you get the gist. So we're going to go to the plugins folder, open that up, and then you'll see your plugins. And I want to go to the world edit folder, open that up and you're gonna see this schematics folder once you open that up we see all the schematics we created or brought in to our server and you can't just open these up as like a text document or anything and really do anything with them but you can give them to other people or move them to your new server and so since I'm in an FTP client I'm just gonna highlight all that drag it to my desktop and it looks like I actually already save the KG schematic but I'm gonna bring it over anyway and there we go that is how you have or how you retrieve schematics after creating them uh, if you guys have any questions just send me a comment I'd appreciate that over a message that way I can answer it and help other people out that might be having the same issues so um, thanks for watching guys it's Fellas45 have fun playing Minecraft